Brenda, I'm beginning to realize something very strange about this place. There's no fall. It's November and we're in the middle of a heat wave. And a drought. Don't you miss that, that nip in the air when the sun goes down? The leaves turning colors? You know what color the leaves are here? Brown. And I don't mean an autumn brown. I mean an unhealthy, sickly kind of brown. You know what the air quality index was today? But hold it. Doesn't it bother you that there is such a thing as an air quality index? Something that you have to check every morning to find out whether or not it's safe to breathe? Brandon, it's not that bad. Minneapolis did not have an air quality index. Or earthquakes. Do you really think about that? No. I've decided it's better not to. But it doesn't matter whether you do or not, because it's just in the air out here. Like this big looming thing. Oh, God, I hope that's not for me. Why? Dad hates it when my friends call past 11. He tells them I'm asleep. It is so embarrassing. Bummer. Brandon, <laughs> it's for you. It's Cheryl. Minneapolis, Cheryl? Excuse me. Hold on a second, okay? Hey, gu guys, uh, Cheryl's coming to visit for the weekend. She can stay in my room. <laughs> Someone to cover the football game for me against Beverly High on Saturday? I thought you said that was supposed to be one of the best games of the year. Well, it is, but uh, something real important came up. Right out of the blue, totally unexpected. Who is she? What are you, psychic? No. Just a whiz at probability. Well, she's my old girlfriend from Minneapolis. She's coming to visit me for the weekend. So, why didn't you say so? Oh, I thought you might think it was a lame excuse or something. Well, uh, how long were you guys together? A year. And then, what happened? Well, we cut each other loose. I don't believe in long-distance relationships. A year? I didn't even know you had a girlfriend, Brandon. Well, it just seems stupid to talk about someone who's never around. You're very secretive. And you're very nosy. I'm a journalist. I'm supposed to be. 